You don't have to look far back in time to find my hatred for anything that Apple has designed to amplify audio. All right, let's do this. Hey everybody, my name is Patrick. I am a husband, a dad, and a human working and living in New York City. And on this channel, we talk about all of it. And I remember when I worked at Apple years ago and they released the iPod Hi-Fi. Tourists would come into the Apple store and look for the Hi-Fi, no, it was the Hi-Fi, and I could not get over how expensive it was. And at that time, the only other piece of audio gear that Apple had on their shelves were the ear pods that came with every iPod. Then, of course, Apple released the iPhone, and those same ear pods shipped with every iPhone. Now, listen, I am very much of the belief that anyone should use what they like. You like Beats headphones by Beats, Skull Candy by all means, but, and this is a big but. I like big but. Anyone I see rocking those original earbuds made by Apple up until even the most recent iteration will get a significant amount of side-eye judgment from me. They are terrible. Not only do they sound bad, but they actually hurt my ears. Not everybody's ears, but listen, we're talking about my experience, right? And I'm going somewhere with this, so stay with me. Eventually, Apple releases the AirPods, and Apple fans everywhere freak out because Apple has finally entered the Bluetooth headphones space. However, beyond being completely wireless, AirPods are the same form factor as the wired earbuds, meaning they are still uncomfortable, and huge shocker here, they still sound, in my opinion, terrible. Now, last but not least, these, these headphones were way more expensive than other brands' headphones that sounded better and felt better in your ear, which makes no sense to me except, well, Apple. So this begs the question, why would someone buy an expensive pair of headphones that don't feel good and also don't sound good? To me, AirPods became a bit of a status thing, meaning if you had those headphones in your ears, you were cool, you had money, and you probably didn't care about the way your audio sounded. Finally, the AirPod Pros come along. And to be honest, I never gave these headphones a fair chance because of how badly Apple, in my opinion, botched the iPod Hi-Fi and the AirPods and on down the line with the EarPods, etc. As a matter of fact, I spent several hours making multiple videos comparing other pairs of headphones to the AirPods, showing how much better the other brands had designed their headphones. That is until today. You see, I'm a mature adult. I know when I've made a mistake and I can admit it when I'm wrong. However, today's not that day. I'm not wrong about the AirPods. I'm not wrong about the earbuds. I know I'm not wrong about the iPod Hi-Fi. These products are not for me because they don't live up to Apple's quality. But I never said the AirPod Pros were bad. And for the first time ever, I just spent a significant amount of time with a product that I think is actually really great. Now, I won't lie to you. I originally picked up the AirPod Pros to compare them to the other headphones in my arsenal, believing fully that they would not even hold a candle to my normal listening experience and I would return them. And that is something that I can say I was wrong about. I have enjoyed almost every single bit of time using the AirPod Pros to listen to all styles of music, including my favorite podcasts. And I do have a couple of gripes, but for now, let's just talk about the features of the AirPod Pros. Let me also silence my phone. Now, this is going to be a fair review, so to be fair, I have a couple of gripes with the AirPod Pros, but for now, let's just talk about the features. Number one, the AirPod Pros feature wireless charging. This is not a deal breaker by any means when it comes to purchasing headphones if they don't have wireless charging, but I think at this point, every company should be offering this. It's becoming more and more of a standard, and to not feature this on your truly wireless headphones is a real drawback. I love the fact that it has wireless charging, including MagSafe. Number two, and, and we've already touched on this just a bit, the listening experience is very pleasant. I mean, that's why you buy headphones after all, right? You're not gonna find too much bass in the headphones, which is something that I looked forward to in the past, but I'm realizing now that it can sometimes be a drawback to your listening experience. But hold on, don't let that make you think that the headphones cannot produce a full sound. You know that new sound you're looking for? Well, listen to this. Unlike previous versions of Apple's headphones, the volume of the AirPod Pros was surprising to me. You always want to be safe when you're listening to music, but the sound is full and the headphones can be pretty loud when you want them to be. 
The AirPod Pros are also water resistant, so you shouldn't be afraid of, of working out and getting your sweat on, but just to be safe, I, you know, tried to stay away from those activities. You know, I just don't, I, I just don't want to hurt the headphones, so I shouldn't do the workouts, right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. The battery life is okay, but it's not as good as some other companies out there. However, it's absolutely fine for a few hours of listening, which is what most people need anyways. I also found it shocking how well these headphones fit in my ear, and it's because they're not made of just hard plastic like previous versions of Apple's headphones. They have these nice silicon tips, and while I wish they filled out my ear a little bit more, they're pretty comfortable. And that's one thing I want to get into. The AirPods, they just, they're just comfortable. In the past, I've been truly judgmental about those people you see walking around with their AirPods sticking out of their ears 24 seven. But to be honest, I kind of, I get it now. I have to reach up and adjust the headphones now and again, just kind of put them back in. But that's something you're gonna have to do with almost any truly wireless headphone that you buy. I don't think that there's any in-ear headphone that I would be comfortable wearing all day in my ears, but this headphone probably comes the closest. Now, one reason I can keep these headphones in my ears throughout most of the day is comfort, but there's one other thing that almost makes these headphones worth the price. Almost makes them worth the price. Oh my gosh! If you're already in the Apple ecosystem, you've got your Mac, your iPad, your iPhone, etc. It just makes sense for you to stick with the AirPods lineup. AirPods give you the ability to seamlessly connect your headphones to any Apple device from the moment you unbox them. Once you take these headphones out of the case and open them, your Apple devices just automatically recognize the headphones. Then once you're moving between your iPad, your iPhone, and your Mac, the AirPods are automatically recognized and able to connect to each one of those devices. And you normally don't have to click anything. This just happens seamlessly and automatically. Now, I'm not saying that other headphones have a difficult time connecting to Apple devices. I'm simply saying that the AirPods lineup connect to your Apple devices better than any headphone I have ever used. I've never had a dropout from one of the headphones. I've never had trouble connecting these headphones. And for that reason, they basically stay in my ears all day as I move between my iPad, my iPhone, and my Mac. So I guess you can say that I get it now. The people who walk around with AirPods all day aren't weird or arrogant. They simply have found a device that connects to all of their other devices seamlessly. And like I said, that makes them almost worth the price. So we finally get to the tipping point here. Apple knows that there are millions of people already in their ecosystem that are willing to pony up the cash for a device this expensive because of how easy it is to use. However, I cannot find a legitimate reason why these headphones cost so much. And that's my major drawback to the AirPods Pro. That's it. The entire AirPods lineup is ridiculously priced, not just the AirPods Pro. However, if I was going to ask for a gift, or if I had a gift card, or even if I just felt like treating myself. Fragrances. Treat yourself. Massages. Treat yourself. Mimosas. Treat yourself. I might be inclined to pick these up. As a matter of fact, I might just hang on to the pair I already bought to test them out for this video. So this isn't the first time and it won't be the last time, but I feel like I've been proven wrong here and the AirPod Pros are a huge win. But what about you? Let me know down in the comments if you love the AirPod Pros or if there's another headphone out there that we should all check out. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends. And I'll see you in the next one.